Sumalang na rin sa pagdinig sa Senado ang hiling na pondo ng Korte Suprema para sa susunod na taon. Dito ipinagbalaki ang mga bagong rules at paggamit ng artificial intelligence para pabilisin ang pagulong ng mga kaso. Nakatutok si Mav Gonzalez. Mga naiipong preso o kaya'y mga biktimang inip na sa hustisya. Nababawasan na raw yan dahil sa mas mabilis umanong pagulong ng mga kaso dahil sa bagong rules ng mga korte at paggamit ng Artificial Intelligence o AI. Pagmamalaki nga ng Supreme Court sa pagdinig ng Senado sa hiling nilang 2025 budget, mas marami na ang nadidispose na kaso kumpara sa mga isinasam pa. Halimbawa, The uh, changes in our rules uh, with respect to, for example, the uh, rules on civil procedure, Your Honor, there are already timelines with respect to the submission of pleadings, Your Honor, and likewise, no, the uh, necessity to uh, include already all evidence at, uh, in the filing no, of uh, civil cases, no, among others. Ganito na rin ang rules ng korte para sa mga kasong kriminal tulad ng drug cases kung saan pwede na ang plea bargaining para madaling madispose. Ang AI naman, ginagamit na sa research pati sa paggawa ng draft decisions. Eventually, our justices would be able to monitor no, the progress of their cases so that uh, you know, uh, aging cases no, can uh, be given a priority as well, Your Honor. Developing already voice-to-text transcription. In other words, uh, Uh, while uh, the testimony is being given, it's already uh, being recorded and transcribed, Your Honor. Next target nila ay isama pati local languages tulad ng Ilocano para otomatikong translated at hindi na rin mano-mano pang ititipa. Pero paalala ng komite. Um, of course, we, we won't rely too much on AI but it can give uh, an option uh, just to countercheck also the human side of the decision because uh, we might have uh, forgotten something. Uh, there are some decisions which should not be left to the control of the AI because the court is not only a court of law, but we are also a court of equity. There is some humanity involved in the uh, disposition of cases. Napatunayan ding hindi lahat kaya ng AI. In the previous bar exam, there were some uh, uh, insinuations that the AI will do the correction of the booklets, but that is totally false. In fact, now, I am the bar chair for 2024. Uh, indeed, there were some questions that were referred to the AI, and I, 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 I reviewed over it. They are not exactly correct. So that means the human mind still better. Para sa 2025, may get 84 billion pesos ang hinihinging pondo ng hudikatura. Kasama rito ang budget para maipagpatuloy ang online hearings. Para sa GMA Integrated News, Mav Gonzalez, nakatutok 24 oras.